Hello friend, welcome back to Toyota Maintenance YouTube channel. This is 2010 Toyota Tundra, which I am assuming you already saw it in the different video. I had a nightmare with replacing these denso iridium spark plugs because on each side of the engine one of them was basically seized and it took me with soaking it and so on like hour each to get it out of course that throw me backwards in my time schedule so now it's evening and I'm still dealing with the valve covers on this 4.6 B8 engine so this is what you see when you lift the hood it's that I force 4.6 liter V8 and finally we have some great news for the owner here you can see the valve cover how beautifully clean and shiny no crut or nothing like that how it came of the engine and we are working on it or we are doing this job because of the spark plug tube seals all these no just the middle ones on each side these ones were leaking in the spark plug tubes these ones were actually holding correctly now i never filmed anything on this engine and you can see the model number is one u r f e that form 4.6 liter and i want to give you few hints if you are going to do your valve cover job hint number one be very patient because the way everything is done in this engine the Toyota decided put a lot of stuff on top of the valve covers each of them has that secondary air injection valves on top of it which obviously goes then behind to the EGR and so on there is a lot of stuff to remove and slowly deal with before you can separate this valve cover from the bottom it has as usually all these 10 millimeters running around but don't overlook there is one bolt in the middle and that's the only one which will have a rubber gasket as we know it from different engines so as I said come on long bolt right in center of the valve cover before you will start prying it off don't forget about this one and that's basically it before or while you are removing now let's focus on that VVTI system and its gaskets. So this VVTI runs by the pressure of the oil, correct? And look at it. This is the figure 8, number 8 type of gasket. But if you pay attention, there was another one here, there was another one here, another figure 8, and don't forget about this one let's go see right now in the engine if they are still sitting there and once again you will hopefully see how actually everything is in super duper shape how can i put this light here so i can keep pointing on stuff so first of all chains 208,000 miles 2010 means it's 11 years old absolute no stretch absolutely no problem with the slides and so on everything's super nice the cam lobes here beautiful you already see saw how that valve cover was clean now before i forget you will be putting on only on two spots fipg where the front timing chain cover meets the rest and that's here and down there so you are not putting anything in the back and now what we just said 
one figure eight is stuck still on the valve cover so that's missing and then we said there's supposed to be another rubber o-ring here another one here another figure eight and i was pointing out for you don't forget about this one so all that better be in that set some of you will buy it from toyota so don't forget order all this new new mini mini tiny things because toyota doesn't sell these sets here i'm assuming that's exactly for the one low, long bolt that's that rubber uh, gasket so you need all these things to replace because if you look at it from the side these ones actually look pretty good but if i pull it and i didn't touch it before they are getting hard and flat and they also might not seal perfectly and that's crucial for that vvti system so this is on this side we are on the passenger side if i see something more on the driver side or some other setup which i need to bring up to you i will keep filming that side too and working on this job on this engine on this 4.6 liter I realize this is a bad situation for everybody. Toyota engineers definitely prove themselves going backwards because 4.7 liter 2U ZFE valve covers are that's a routine work which can be done in the reasonable time this oh no this is a problem on the labor time not on the parts but on the labor bad placement of the components definitely and even not checking there's one last bolt on this side it's underneath the EGR pipe on the valve cover that is flexible to certain point but it, that's a wrong design they didn't think together that's for them that's on them it's bad for me and us technicians because this will cost the owner a lot of money and he might be thinking oh are you some rip-off artist or what why you are for simple valve covers why you want me to charge so much labor time this is crazy it shouldn't be like that when at the end I already said it it's bad for the customers wallet because this is no good yep this is not good for them it will cost them and the reason is bad design it's not their fault I don't like bending parts but that's that EGR pipe which goes in the bed and you can see that wobble 10 millimeter this is where that one of those valve cover bolts 10 millimeter is that's the last one I need to remove and I had to bend this a lot unfortunately it has that flex pipe on the back but that's the one coming to this switch valve you can see this is where it's going and the 10 millimeter is underneath it so all these things all this mess which is bolted on top of the valve covers definitely problem as a labor you can see also this side it's absolutely immaculate it's amazing again observe the seals they some of them stick to the cover valve cover and some of them will be left in the engine everything needs to be replaced these are still OEM seals which I didn't 
take out the replacement it's blue now everything immaculate here again the chains are absolutely incredibly tight absolutely gorgeous condition here is one of the rubber seals right there and this is the other one remaining on this side so of course Toyota engineers make it so complicated for those who don't know why well it's because the emissions they have to constantly keep improving the emissions for the vehicles and that's why we have all this clutter this is all emission related to improve basically the burning and keep the air clean